Commit messages provide a detailed journal of the changes made to our project files. Why is it important to create good commit messages? The commit message details what we've done and why. This is especially important when working on a team, as it tells the other team members what's in the commit. Defining good commit messages can make it easier to find and compare prior commits. And understanding the purpose of a commit helps us feel confident when merging a commit. Commit messages could also be used for release notes when working on changes to a production application. Especially when working with a team, consistent commit messages are important. Here are some tips for creating great commit messages. Describe the change concisely. Try to keep it to no more than 50 characters. If you can't describe the commit in 50 characters, it may mean you're including too much in a commit. And if you find yourself adding an and, like we did earlier, that's a good indicator that you have multiple changes in one commit. Describe what and not how. For example, instead of modify five files, use add copyright notice to footer. Use sentence case with only the first letter capitalized. Don't end with a period. And use the imperative mood. That is to say, write the message in the form of a command in the present tense. This last one is a bit challenging for me, because my first thought is to use past tense, describing what I did. But it should be what the commit will do. To help me remember, I think of completing the sentence, this commit will. For example, this commit will improve color contrast, not improved or improving. Note that project teams often have additional rules for defining commit messages for the team's commits. Let's look at a quick example. Here is my GitHub repository. I'll add another tab and navigate to github.com slash whatwig slash html. This is the site for HTML standards. Notice the commit names. The team standardized on a prefix to identify the scope of the change, such as meta, or fix, or dev edition, then the specifics of the commit. Let's close the tab and go back to the slides. So, it's important to define clear, consistent, and concise commit messages, especially when working on a team. Most teams have rules for defining project commit messages. Be sure to consult the project documentation before you commit to a team project. Next up, let's look at VS Code.